Here we are today bringing you some of the old china stamps. I have them all in groups. Let's start with this first one. Now look at that top one. The number one. You see how the stamp didn't finish getting made right there? You see the line? Oops. You see the line right here on the top? But you don't see the stamp fully finished. So that's something for collectors to see because that can be valuable because it's a mistake. All mistakes count. So that's one. Then we have uh, in green and then we have two fives in green. But if you notice, these have pillars and these just have nice design. And of course the second one is a deeper green. But they're both fives. Then we go down to the second row and we had a two dollar with an overprint of two dollars. A little different, isn't it? Then the middle one is red and white and that's five dollars. Now if you notice it does not have perforation all the way around the stamp. This was one of these that they gave a sheet and they had to cut out the sheet as you bought the stamp. So that gives you an idea of when in history this took place. And then you have the $20 one, which is red and white, with an overprint of 10. Okay, and nothing was ever wasted back in the old days, you know. If you didn't use all these stamps up, put an overprint on it and still use it. Because it's you don't waste. There's, there's no room for waste. All right, today everybody wastes everything. But not back then. Okay, we'll take it to our second group here. There we go. First we have the 5,000 green and white, 1948. Look at that. It's got the ship. It's got the plane. Nice. Almost looks like two stamps into one, huh? Isn't that nice? 1948. And we go down to the second row where we had a 500 and it ended up a one half, uh, one half FR. I think that's what it is. Ended up a one half anyhow with the overprint on that green and white one. Then we have another green and white one just like it. But with a black overprint of the one half while the first one was red. Then we have an orange stamp, and that was $350 with the overprint of, looks like a thousand. Hmm, not quite sure what it is. No, the overprint of 18, 1,800. Woo, what an overprint, huh? Here. Isn't that something? Look at that orange. An overprint. Okay, and then in the burgundy and white, you have, oh my goodness, a whole bunch of zeros. Ooh, a hundred thousand? Holy smokes. Okay. Well, that's got no overprints. Really nice. Doesn't look like it was even used. There's no marking of cancellation of any kind. Well, ain't that something, huh? Wow. Okay, let's go to our third group here. There we go. It's really windy outside, and it's coming right in through this window a little bit. So you're going to have a little blurry every now and then. Okay, so we have in orange a one-half. The overprint on top is one-half. I can't read the China writing, but they put an overprint of one half. The second one is a burgundy with an overprint of four. Oh yeah, it had 30. That first one had 30 
with an overprint of one half. It's in the middle, it's not in the bottoms like I'm used to seeing. And then the four, the overprint is on it so much it looked like it was a hundred. Okay, and then on the brown, they left that one alone, it's a 25. Now if you notice in this group and stuff, the design around the portrait are all the same. So if you're starting a collection, this is a really good one because you have the same on all of them. Okay, second row, you have an eight. Oh, and a nice, nice uh, uh, turquoise kind of looking color. And it has an overprint of $20. Then we have a yellow. You don't see too many yellow stamps. They had decided somewhere along the way that yellow didn't come out so good in stamps and colors and everything. But they do have a yellow here in China. Okay, and it was a $3 stamp with an overprint of 200 Very nice. And then the last one in that bottom group is a beautiful blue and white with a 2. And that has a red overprint of $20. That one's kind of nice. I think I kind of like this group, huh? Very nice. A nice collection. Very nice. Difference in the colors. I like the turquoise and the blue really shows up nice. Beautiful. Okay, and in our last group, we have these here. Very different. First one on top is a $1.00. And in, the, in that's a red and white. Then you go to the second row. And in burgundy you have a $10. Then in a kind of like a shade of purple. Or a deep, deep burgundy. Between purple and burgundy. You have the $80 one. And then in still like, looks like uh, burgundy or brown. Might look at it as burgundy, but it kind of looks more brown for a hundred dollars. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing them to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and by all means, share the video with others, especially collectors. Alrighty, I'd appreciate that. Bye bye now.